Welcome to Chapter 3, MT4 Setup and Configuration. The first thing we're going to be doing today is copying over the custom indicators that you should have downloaded from the email you received when you purchased the book. So the first thing we'll need to do is go ahead and click on Start, or it may be on your desktop, and we're going to look for Computer or My Computer. And you're going to go ahead and click on the hard drive where you installed the software. And you want to go ahead and navigate to the directory where you installed the software. I do give a sample of where it could possibly be in the book, or you could check with your broker as it varies from broker to broker where they do install the software on there. Once you're into the directory where your software is installed, you should see a folder named Experts. You want to go ahead and click on that folder, open it up, and then you should look for the folder that says Indicators. We're going to go ahead and open up the Indicators folder, and this is where you want to copy and paste, drag and drop, all the custom indicators that you downloaded. Once you've completed copying all those indicators over, we're going to go ahead and close this window. And then we want to go ahead and open up your MT4 software. Once you have the MT4 software open, the first thing you want to do is, if your chart, we're going to check for indicators on it. So you would want to right click anywhere on the screen and if, you, you, if there are no indicators there, you're not going to see indicators list. If you do see indicators list, you want to click it, open it up, and it may show an indicator or two or some MT4 clients do load up on indicators when you first get them. You'll select the indicator and hit delete. If you have multiple, just rinse and repeat. Do it over and over till they're all gone. Once that has been completed, you want to go ahead and click on close. And then we can go ahead and begin prepping your MT4 for the indicators that we're going to be adding in later on. The first thing we'd want to do is right click and then move up to grid and you are going to left click grid which will remove the grid off the screen. The next thing we're going to do, right click again, go to properties and make sure you're on the colors tab. Now even though we've removed the grid, if you look up here the price line, the current price line actually is gray and if you can see right here where it says grid, grid in the price line just happen to be linked into the same color. We want to go ahead and change that over to yellow. Before we get too in depth into the colors, you can use any color scheme that you are comfortable with. I'm just going through the setup of how I have everything set up, but if you feel more comfortable with a different color scheme, feel free to use it. So the first thing we would want to do, grid is going to be yellow bar up, I leave it at lime, bar down, we would change to red. Bull candle, we would change to lime, and bear candle, we're going to go ahead and change that one to red. The rest of the colors that are on there, you can go ahead and leave them as is. We're going to go ahead and move over to the common tab next. In the top left hand section, the first thing we want to do is mark chart shift and chart auto scroll. The box directly below that we want to go ahead and leave those both blank. Top right I'm using pin bar or bar chart. If you're more comfortable with candlesticks go ahead and use candlesticks. I use pin bars just for the ease of being able to see other indicators. The other bottom right I'm going to remove show OHLC and show ask line. Show period separators, I do leave on there just because it shows the beginning and end of a trading day. Once you've completed all that, we're going to go ahead and click on OK. And the last thing you'd want to do is click up top on your time frame and switch it over to five minutes. And if we zoom in a little bit, we now have a chart with a completely black background, red and green pin bars, and a yellow price line. That concludes Chapter 3, MT4 Setup and Configuration.